Pública. Good day and welcome to Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. I am your host, Jacques Hinson Compton. The Ministry of Agriculture and the Taiwanese Technical Mission are hosting something called the 2022 Mango Expo at the end of June. And here with me to talk about it is Mr. Daniel Lee, who is the Taiwan Technical Mission Chief, Ms. Uh, Eileen Chen, who's the project manager on the project, and also Ms. Sophia Jan, who is also a project manager. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Mr. Lee, let's start with you. Could you tell us a little bit about what the Taiwanese Technical Mission is? Uh, Taiwan Technical Mission is an uh, organization um, in charge of the inter, uh, te international cooperation and technical cooperation, and it's um, under the structure of the Taiwanese Embassy. And so far in San Lucia, we have several projects, including the agriculture project and the uh, uh, Janice project is uh, youth and women empowerment project and ICT in education project. And of course, the, the Mandarin, uh, Mandarin language project as well. Uh, what that last one, are you te you're teaching Mandarin to San Lucia? Yes, we have uh, a uh, Mandarin teacher. Ting Ting is teaching um, Mandarin in the school, and there, there is a, a program online as well. Can you kind of just briefly tell us a little bit about the other projects? Not too much about it, but just a little bit. Uh, uh, so um, the agriculture project, we try to help the farmers, no matter the vegetables and the fruit like mango and, and bananas. And we cover from the production to the consumer. This whole supply chain, we try to assist the farmer to build up the business. And, yeah. no, go ahead. and about the uh, Genesis project, we, uh, we try to assist the youth and the women, especially under the COVID pandemic, it strike the economy status. So this project focus on assisting the youth and women to develop small business and the vocational training. Okay, now specifically with uh, the Mango Expo and you being the, um, the chief of the Taiwanese Technical Mission, what is your role exactly? Yeah, uh, about the, the, the Mango Festival, yes, um, actually we, it's a very uh, big activity. It's a cross, cross se sector, including the Taiwan Embassy, Taiwan Technical Mission, and the Ministry of, of Agriculture, and the uh, uh, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. So my role is to, um, with the assistance of our colleague, we do the coordination of the whole, whole activity. Okay, and my other two guests, uh, Ms. Chen, why don't you tell us what your role is as one of the project managers? Okay, so um, the project, I work with actually a really long name. It's an efficiency, uh, enhancement of the efficiency of production distribution in fruit and uh, vegetable sector in St. Lucia. So basically, it's already been doing the phase two project. The phase one um, is uh, started from 2019. So the purpose for the phase one will be to reduce the import, uh, import build in certain crops. And we go into the phase two, we have like to diverse to, uh, to have this crop to be more diversified um, it's more in various of crops. So actually the uh, mango festival is one of the initiative from the last part of the phase one project we call farmers market. It mostly like extension of the uh, farmers market. We like to broad the uh, awareness. awareness of the attention to let everyone know that St. Lucia have a good quality uh, fruit and vegetables and to let more uh, opportunity to let farmers to meet with the consumers. Mm. 
And Ms. Jan, what about you? As also another project manager, what is your role? Oh, okay. Uh, you, you mean the, in the Mango Festival or the, the or general? The general. Well, both the Mango Festival and Okay, general. so I uh, start to introduce my project a little bit. This project is in coordinate with the, the government's policy, youth economy. So we try to train the youth and the women to learn uh, to get their up skills, meaning they can learn what the skills they, they can fit in the workplace or they can create their own business. So that's why that way when the, the agriculture project in our technical mission drives, I think that is a good opportunity for our students who learn the hospitality and the specialize in the food and the pre, uh, preparation. They can uh, demonstrate their skills, although it's a beginner level, but they can demonstrate what they learn from this project. And also they can uh, learn uh, how to present their uh, products, they are dishes to public. So that's why we work with the uh, Saasa Lewis Community College to design the, the competition, food uh, cooking competition. So for those uh, 14, uh, 15 students can have the opportunity to, to choose either they want to uh, cook main course or appetizer or the uh, like a dessert or a beverage. So we will uh, category into three uh, different part and the, the best uh, performers they will go to our the uh, mango festival opening open ceremony to present the dishes to the the honorable guests so uh, I think in that day we will have that at least uh, not only students uh, performance but also the chefs from the Saasa Louis and also the our Taiwanese ambassador's wife like she also will present uh, how Taiwanese use the mango in the different dishes. So that will be very exciting event in the opening ceremony that will be, uh, have a joint venture with the different institutions like uh, our technical mission, embassy, Taiwan Embassy, and also Saasa Louis Community College. Mm. Uh, Mr. Lee, I want to talk a, a little bit more in detail about the, the Mango Expo. So just tell us, uh, I mean, what is its purpose? Why are you having it? Why mangoes? Yeah, the, um, now it's a perfect time for the, uh, the mango. So we can see uh, um, in whole country, we can see lots of mango fruits uh, around the country. So um, this activity inspire, uh, in, we are in, inspired by the uh, banana export. So that's a perfect activity to promote uh, utilization of bananas so it in inspires us the mango why not we can do the similar activity so and um, not only this idea but also we try to help all the farmers uh, small business owner and of course the the student of the vocational training we try to uh, make the po possibility to encourage the awareness and the consumption of mango, the best of St. Lucia. And where are these, um, can you talk about where some of these activities are going to take place? Yeah, the, there are a few activities. For example, um, on the festival day, there will be a showcase. There will be 30, uh, 30 tents, including the uh, supplier, grower, and the process, uh, processing uh, uh, business bis uh, bi business uh, store mm -hmm. and besides that our um, highlight will be the cooking competition so cooking competition ju just like what Sophia mentioned the the trainee or competitor are the student of the the class so first of all we in we invite all the students came to the farm at the union to to recognize the local grown vegetable as the ingredient of the cooking competition. More than that, we, our team, together with the Ministry of Agriculture, we collect 14 different species, different variety of the mango uh, to show all, all um, competitors what can they use. So it's a perfect time to, to, sh to show what we have in St. Lucia. And then the cooking competition will be on next week, Monday. And then the big day, the Mango Expo, we are, go we are having a prize giving day. 
next week money that will be june 20th to june 20th okay. will be the competition day what time is that uh it's uh 12 p.m mm -hmm. yeah and the uh the Le, Le forge restaurant of the college Okay, we're due for our first break, but I want you to stick with me so we can talk a little bit more about the Mango Expo. You're watching Issues and Answers. Please stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. The Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the Taiwan Technical Mission, presents a big mango festival, Mango Mania, Tut Bagai Mango. It's happening on the 24th of June, 2022, at the Constitution Park in Castry. This event starts from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are showcasing everything mango. Lots of mango recipes on display. Recipe books available. Mango eating competition. Mango plants on sale. Entertainment. And lots more. It's Mango Mania. Tut Bagai Mango. 24th June 2022. At the Constitution Fact Castry. From 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Showcasing everything mango. So turn out in numbers. The Ministry of Agriculture has done it again. Welcome back to Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. I am your host, Jacques Kingston Compton, and we're here with the Taiwanese Technical Mission talking about Mango Expo 2022. Uh, so, Mr. Lee, as well, uh, what can you tell us, what can we expect to see at the, uh, the Mango Expo, other than the, the, what the cuisine, the cooking competition and all that? What else can we expect? Yeah, expect, uh, we are trying to take this opportunity to show our farmers what achievement they can reach. And we expect to show the possibility for the student. What uh, it's, uh, to be honest, these students are in the entry level. It's their very first time to join the course. So uh, through this competition process, they, it can inspire them. Um, it's possible to have their own course in Mango. And it's a perfect, perfect time for them to experience um, the, the process. How do they um, satisfy the, uh, the, the judge and the consumer in the future? It's beneficial for their, their uh, commercial life in the future. Oh. And uh, Ms. Chen, what can we, who's your target for the event and what, um, what will be covered by the event? So just uh, a couple of things Daniel already mentioned. We will have 30 tents outside in the Constitution Park on the June 24th. That will be a Friday. And uh, so we will have small uh, business. We will have fresh, fresh produce. Uh, you, can, you can expect fresh mango selling on the event. So Sanusha Marketing Board will join us. And also you can also have like a, a painting material of uh, mangoes you can sell. So propagation unit. Uh, we are also joined in the, this event, and we also have some value-added um, supplier in that. So you can have a mango skin product, you can have a mango soap selling on the on Constitution Park, and also we also have our uh, agro business partner in that development. For example, ICA will also join us, and uh, San Lucia Development uh, Development Bank will also be joining us, and also the Ministry of Agriculture the Department of Forest Development Research and uh, other supported uh, partners, for example, Ministry of Health will also join us. And also, for uh, especially like the um, Genesis uh, project, the Theater Lewis will also be participate in the uh, uh, Constitution Park. And uh, also we have other activities, for example, uh, uh, we have the mango eating competition will happening. And uh, we also have the entertainment, for example, uh, string band, for example, drummers. So you are not just mango there, you can also have the entertainment, you have uh, having a lot of fun there. And also, we also invite the primary and uh, secondary school to participate in this mango festival there. So we will um, encourage them to also design the mango um, recipes to this uh, event to try to do in innovative way to utilize mangoes. So there's a lot of things happening in the mango festival. Do you have any idea of, of what sort of recipes we can expect? 
Oh, so uh, for the student, we let them to have their creativities, but we also, uh, you mentioned we have uh, for this vegetable, we uh, designed a mango, actually designed a mango recipe books for this mango festival. So in the books, you can expect a lot of um, restaurants will uh, uh, have their creativity recipe to uh, using for the mangoes. And also, the other learn is the uh, restaurant from the chefs will also uh, have their uh, they design their recipe, put in these recipe books, and also we like we we have two um, Taiwanese specialty cuisine made by mangoes. We we'll also put in these recipes, uh, recipe books. So you can be uh, expect a lot of different uh, different uh, mango recipes. We'll put in the books, and they will be uh, you can be be sold on the mango. Oh, so it, I could get the, a copy of the recipe yes. at the festival. What yes. about afterwards? What would I be able to get a copy of the after the festival? Is there anywhere I can go to get a, a copy of the uh, recipe book? I think it's from Ministry of Agriculture. So mm. we, if you uh, anyone that's interested in these mango recipe books, you can get it and uh, talk to us or Ministry of Agriculture. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, I know we've talked overall about the, the expo. What about the, the the opening ceremony, how long will the opening ceremony be? Uh, they will happen in the town hall and mm -hmm. start from 10. And what else would we expect to see in the opening ceremony? So, uh, we we'll, we'll officially we we'll welcome the officials mm -hmm. to, uh, to broad the awareness of this uh, mango and the importance of the mango. And also, the, uh, the just Sophia says, the uh, competition of the cooking competition will also have a price, uh, price given on the day, on the ceremony. And also, we will have showcased the Taiwan and the San Lucia specialty cuisine on the, uh, on the ceremony. OK. And uh, are there a lot of, I mean, anyone can answer this, are there a lot of different uses for mangoes that the general public doesn't really know about? Yes. Uh, can you talk a little bit about them? Yeah, so um, what I have observed in, in St. Lucia, most of the utilization of mango is for juice and for the desserts. But um, we, we are keen to share the experience in Taiwan. Uh, we do the sun dry or dry mango as a very um, good, um, uh, it's a very good food for the body. And then uh, we pickle we pickled the green mango mm -hmm. as well. And the, for, the, for the cuisine, we can see some, some special um, mango dishes in the restaurant as well. Okay, uh, Ms. Chan, yes. Um, what I also wanted to talk about, uh, a little bit more about your specific project, the Gen project. Can you give us Genes? a little more? Genes, sorry. Can you give us a little more detail about the, the Genes project? Okay, uh, Genes, that's a Creole. When we uh, uh, work together with the uh, Sir Louis uh, Community College team, so we try to find, identify some uh, local element for this uh, project. So we find that the Creole, in, uh, the, the use in Creole, that is Genes. So we use that yeah. for our uh, project's uh, the nickname. Yeah. So uh, in the Genes project, we have the different training courses. We will uh, provide us for those youth who is probably an employee or they just graduate from the secondary school, they need more skills to go to the labor market. So we provide four type of uh, four courses for the vocational training. First is of the hospitality, which the, the graduates will, uh, you, you will see the mango festival. And the second is health aid because I, because of COVID, I think the, the need of the labor, the, the workforce for the nursing or the health aid uh, you know, uh, assistance is increasing. And the third one is uh, digital and the creative uh, entrepreneur because uh, for use, they like uh, you know use uh, all the devices. Mm -hmm. So I think they, they are very happy. That, that this is the most popular the program of these four. The last one is the early childhood development because I think during the pandemic, some people, the, some parents, they they can they they, they shift. They 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 very uh, you know uncertainty. So sometimes they, their kids need somebody to take care of when they are out of work. 
So, so that's the, the four the vocational skills we try to bring to uh, San Lucia youth and women in this period. In this project, only one year. So we want to, everybody can, uh, if they are interested in upskill themselves, they can come to the program. So we totally, right now, its original design is of 360 participants. But right now, because we think this uh, program is very popular, so uh, our embassy is just uh, increase the number of uh, participants. So we will do the second recruitment for the digital and the uh, creative entrepreneur, and as well as uh, hospitality. And the second one is we would like to help the, the youth to develop their knowledge of uh, to become an uh, entrepreneur. So it's an uh, incubator project is right now is ongoing. And later, uh, we will have the business coaching, meaning we help the, those uh, business owners to improve their skills of uh, managing their pro uh, business. So I think that's a three stream of this uh, project. But of course, during we implement the, the, the project, we found some the needs from different ministries. So we also work with different ministries to say uh, if we can enhance their capacity. So even the, after this uh, project finish, they can continue to provide service to youth and the women. So that's the uh, overall the project. And uh, for the recipe book, if you want the, the, some the recipe of the, our uh, best performance of students, you can, uh, uh, it's available when you in the, the festival on site. And the, in our booth, you will have the, like a recipe card. You can see different recipe from our program, including students and the chefs. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're due for our second and final break. I want you to stay, stay with me, and we'll discuss a little bit more about it in a few minutes. You're watching Issues and Answers. Please stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. Minister Agricola Colobosio and Missio Technical Taiwan. The present day, Ango Festival Mago, Mango Mania, Utbaga in Mago, a Constitution Pakla Kastri, Vinka Jay, Demil Vende. Festival Mago Agakuma from Zizabu Mate, who sees the Apemidi. Excel Layo Gamucho, Utbaga in Avenek Mago, a shy recipe Mago. Competition manger mango. La caille est l'autre plan mango gavant. Et quand l'on l'a produit mango. Bagaïsa la caille chaud. Il n'y a pas de mal à travailler mango. Mango, bail la haut. Pas oublié ça, sauvé. Mango Mania. Tout bagaille mango. 24 juin 2020. Un constitution par la casse. Il a commencé from 10h au matin pour 6h après-midi. Tout bagaille mango. Mango Golo. Il n'y a pas de Welcome back to Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. As usual, I'm your host, Jack Kingston Compton, and we're talking about Mango Expo 2022. So, yes, we're talking about your Mango Expo, which is going to be held next week. Um, so what is it about, I, I know off camera you said you love mangoes. Was it your <laughs> idea to have the, ma to specifically focus on mangoes, or is it the, a, sort of a collaborative idea between yourselves and Ministry of Agriculture? Yeah. I mean, anyone could take it. So, um, since we all love mango, but um, since um, we every time we go th uh, path through the walk on the street, we saw a lot a pile of the mango, and so we are we were thinking about how uh, is it pa um, why not we have a very big uh, mango event, and so that's the idea just across our mind. But once again, the success of the the, the banana export in, inspires us. So, so we uh, so we we decide to make it that this year. It's a very first time for for our Taiwan Technical Commission. Yeah, the Ministry of Agriculture held the event a few years ago, but I, I we believe now it's a perfect time to do it again. Can you um, any of you specifically speak about the the exact technical assistance to provide to the, um, the, stu the farmers or the students? Like, what is it that you teach them in terms of, of mango production or, or utilizing mangoes for a variety of reasons? Yeah, so I think that I can say, uh, because in Taiwan, uh, we uh, have the movement that is from the field to the uh, table. 
from the farm to table. So I think when we uh, 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 talk to the uh, department head of the hospitality in the Saasar, we think that why don't we uh, bring the, the because, because everybody, my friend here, told me they love mangoes, but I, think I didn't see the, the mango in, uh, except aside the smoothie. So why don't we to uh, encourage our students to do uh, create their recipe? So we we in, uh, so we collaborate with the, the agricultural projects. So we show them how the mango tree is and how what's the variety and give them the test. So make the student they can know more about what mango they have and the, what kind of mango they can use for their ingredients. So in, you know in that day the few days the, the students all are very exciting. You know. The, they, they didn't see the 14 variety of mango at the same time. So they pick one and one by one and the to select. And, and, and I, I say, why don't you select the best mango? But they say, it's all delicious. <laughs> and also, also the, the uh, four of them are from, the, the varieties are from Taiwan. So they love it. I say, so you just use it in your ingredients so you can present the, like we are a mango man, uh, with uh, mango lovers and you are. So we share the same value of the mango. Why don't you, you put in the, like you can use in the sauce, you can in your beverage, wherever, just use your creative. I think that's why I, our youth uh, program should be, is to bring the, the innovation to them. So I think that's the whole process. Until now, I am very excited, and I hope we can see their work on the Monday, next Monday, the competition day, and the, and the Ministry of Agriculture will to record all the process. And I, I believe in the, the opening day, you will see what is uh, going on. As you so you found the, uh, the students very receptive to the assistance that you gave them? Yes, yes. Okay, they so are very happy when we visit the kitchen. They are always wave the hand and we smile, although it's very hot. But uh, they are very enjoying the, all the training. Well, of course. Uh, we're coming very close to the end of the program. Is there anything that uh, the three of you would like to add before we leave? Yeah, so uh, first of all, uh, so we would like to show our uh, appreciation to invite us to have this interview. So uh, we would like to share this, um, this touch moment and excitement, not only in the kitchen, not only in the farm. We would like to share to all the, the public about how delicious these mango are. So please welcome to join us the, the Mango Day 24th of June yeah, in the Constitution Park. Please join us and to delicious what we have. Thank you. Uh, anything else? Uh, just uh, give up. If we, you come to the, uh, the festivals, just uh, give a pause to our students to encourage them, they're creative. And if you have the opportunity to cut our booth, and also to cheer our chef because they, without their hard work, there's no such good. I, I believe it's very delicious because trust me, I already test a chef's work. It's very, very nice. It's out of my imagination. So if you come to the festival, just uh, give us uh, uh, encouragement and uh, test our food. Uh, and, and also, just like th this theme so for this mango festival, is Mango Mania to Bagai Mango. So we really encourage literally everyone to enjoy the, what we can do for mangoes. It's, it's, uh, you will like a lot of different possibility. And so you can, we welcome everyone to come to this event to explore the possibility of mangoes. And uh, also you can see how uh, Taiwan and San Lucia to be blended into this uh, mango together. So it will be a lot of different activities. It will be a lot of fun. So enjoy on the day and enjoy lots of mangoes. Okay, I want to thank the three of you for coming on to my program and discussing this very important event. I hope you come again soon, maybe to talk about um, everything that happened with the expo afterwards. Thank You're you. watching Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. As noted by the Taiwanese Technical Mission, please go to Constitution Park on June 24th, where you will have the Mango Expo. Show your support to the Ministry of Agriculture, the Taiwanese Technical Mission, and to the students in the uh, Culinary Division of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. Thank you very much for watching.
Please stay tuned to other programs from the National Television Network and the Government Information Service.